morning, Grant Middle School. Today is Wednesday, January 10th. It is a 1.30 dismissal. I am your host, Anaya, and this is my co-host, Kalissa. Today is an even day. What's on the menu today? Chicken nuggets with whole grain bread or cheese flatbread pizza. Please clean up after yourselves after lunch and breakfast. Treat yourself, others, and the building with respect. Also, remember no food is allowed in classrooms. Please be respectful to our learning environment. This includes in your computer bags. Chromebooks are being damaged by the items students are shoving into their bags. So, your bag should only include your Chromebook, its charger, unless you leave it at home to charge as expected, your cell phone, and earbuds. Your Chromebook bag should not include, among the other items you decide to put in, food of any kind, gum or candy, drink or any other liquid. Perfume, body spray, deodorant, lip gloss, pens or pencils, papers, purple positive, your gyms, gym clothes, dirty or clean. This expectation is necessary in order to keep your Chromebooks in working condition. Dress code is, is still in effect. Jackets and coats are not allowed in classrooms. Be sure to take your hoods down when entering the building. Finally, purses are not allowed in class. You will need to put them away into your locker. AP teachers, please pause now and make sure that these expectations are being followed. Students, you need a green or a laminated nurse pass in order to see the nurse. You cannot just go on your own. Now to Thailand Sports. Thank you, ladies. 7th and 8th grade boys basketball have a home game on Thursday, January 11th versus Franklin Middle School at 3.30. This is also 8th grade night. Our 8th grade boys basketball players and our 8th grade cheerleaders will be recognized. The volleyball team will take on Mount Zion Junior High for a away match on Wednesday the 10th at 4.30. Springfield High School cheerleaders and Scarlet Dance Team are hosting a cheer and dance youth camp on Thursday. February 1st from 5 to 6 o'clock. The cost is $30 and the registration needs to be turned in by January 11th in order to receive a t-shirt. Now back to our host. Thailand. Jeffrey is here with Action. Play rehearsals for Peter Pan begins on tonight, January 10th from 1.45 to 4 p.m. in the art room. Second, scripts will be handed out and read. Costumes will be measured. Costume measures will be taken. Cast and crew members are required to submit a signed parent permission slip form in order to participate. Students may turn in those forms to the guidance office. Scholastic Bowl will have practice Thursday after school. Beta Club will meet. Thursday, January 11th, after school. Also, Beta has an upcoming fundraiser on January 15th. Enjoy some delicious mod pizza and help send our Beta students to Nationals in Savannah. If you are if you order online, the code is MODGIVESS25. Your support is greatly appreciated. Now back to these ladies for the rest of our announcements. Thank you, Jeffrey. Get out there and get involved. Well, hello, Grant Middle School students. Um, currently, I'm actually just going to be talking to our eighth graders. So eighth graders, listen up. Um, today, in your math class, I'm going to come around and I'm actually going to give you your course recommendation form for high school. Okay, so um, with that being said, there will be four things that will be circled on this and initialed, and they're actually my initials. You will have an English class initial, you will have a math, a science, and a social studies class. I'm giving this to you today because tonight, January 10th at six o'clock, is preview night at Springfield High School and Southeast High School. It does begin at six. On your course form has all the different electives that you can choose from as well as one at the bottom that we'll have to draw an arrow over to. I want you to take this form with you when you go to the high schools. So if you are interested in a music class or you are interested in an art class, you will know um, which course, because there's a lot more court, uh, electives to choose from. Okay, you can kind of walk around and you'll be able to check out all these different classes and you'll be able to then make that recommendation for yourself. You get to pick your top three electives. 
other thing I'm going to highlight really quickly is at the very top here, it says this needs to be returned and this needs to be returned to guidance. Okay, the guidance office by um, the 26th of January, so we can start getting you registered for your courses for high school. Not leaving off Landfear. Landfear will have their um, uh, open house ninth grade preview night on January 24th. Okay, January 24th um, at six o'clock due to the construction. So last but not least, I'll see all of my eighth graders today, give you your course forms. And then tonight is preview night. And on Friday, your high school deans will be here to see all of you. Thank you. Make sure you're ready for the metal detectors when you get to school. Look through the list. It will help you prepare. Administrative lunch detention lists are posted in three spots around the school. On the bulletin board outside of room 112, outside of room 227, and between rooms 215 and 217. You, the student, need to check that list. Detention names are no longer read before lunch shifts. Additionally, after school detentions have started. They are Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 2.30 to 4. Please note if you are sent out by a substitute, it will automatically be two after school detentions. This does not include permanent substitute teachers. If you are removed from a lunch detention, it will result in an automatic after school detention. Just like lunch detention, these will be listed on the information boards around the building. The Purple Positive Store will be open every Friday during all three lunch shifts. Check out the list. Just a reminder, the winter weather is here. If we have an e-learning day, students are expected to go to the internet and confirm their attendance. If you need help with this, please ask one of your teachers. Then the student needs to check all of their Canvas pages for assignments. Your teacher will be available via Google Meets during the e-learning day. Their availability will be listed on their Canvas pages. Eighth grade students, please listen. Tonight, January 10th, 2024, at 6, is the preview night for eighth grade students who will attend Springfield High School or Southeast next school year to learn about classes and tour the building. You are welcome to go to the school and see what to expect next year. Eighth graders who are attending Land Fair will have theirs on January 24th at 6 due to construction. Remember, Learning Lab is offered Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 2.45 to 4. It will start again on Tuesday the 16th. Find the link on one of your teacher's Canvas pages. Be sure to fill out the form before the last lunch shift. Eat in the all-purpose room if you do stay. Remember, tardies are being counted during advisory every day. This means to be in, in your class before the bell rings at 8. Mr. Mr. Crumb made the tardy policy clear, so do not act surprised if you receive consequences for coming to school late. You may have noticed that the building's in process of being painted. This means that some classes will be in different rooms while the painting is complete. Today, Mr. What's his name? Mahmoud. Shh. Today, Mr. Mahmoud's AP will be in the gym. The rest of Mr. Mehmood's classes will be in room 109. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Mrs. White's AP will be in the library, and the rest of Mrs. White's classes will be in the library. Please continue to listen to the intercom and read the classroom doors for information. Remember to be respectful of others' properties to and from school. The expectation at Grant is to keep your hands and feet to yourselves at all times, at all times during the school day and on your way to and home from school. For your safety, students should only cross at the designated crosswalk areas, Chatham Road, Stange with Mr. Williams, and Amos. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Ms. Scott's advisory class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, my bad. Today's joke comes from Jaden D. Why did the dog do so well in school? Why? Because he was the teacher's pet.
That's funny, right? If you have a joke you want to share, email it to Ms. Buckles or write it down on a piece of paper and place it out in the box outside of room 203. Our idiom today is a flash in the pan. You can say something or someone is a flash in the pan if they're popular or effective for a short time only. Her first song was a big hit, but when Debbie's next song didn't go so well, people started calling her a flash in the pan. Our vocabulary... Our vocabulary word is immense. Immense means big, huge, or significant. I have an immense fear of heights. Do we have any birthdays? Yes. Okay, yes, birthdays. Wyatt H. in sixth grade and Jacob H. in eighth. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Remember to take your Chromebook home and get it chocolate.